So hello and welcome back. Um, it's day two um, of my laser engraver and cutter order and I've received confirmation by the seller and I've received confirmation by the company that will be sending it to me which is a Germany based company which is cool and um, they um, answered to my um, request if it's okay to show the seller name and they're fine and I thought I'd give you a little bit more insight uh, to the machine and why I bought it and um, I'm really happy that apparently um, the shipping papers are being prepared and it's going to go on its way here and it's going to be a lot of fun getting this into my basement <laughs> workshop um, but we'll see that we'll see to that uh, yeah so the seller's name is actually is super equipment shop um, it is a China based company they have tons of accounts as far as I can tell and um, this actually was the cheapest that I could find it comes with air pump, water pump, um, exhaust fan, um, the laser itself. It includes everything you need to get going. And um, so some of the reasons why I picked this one, um, and I can't tell you if it was a good decision. I can probably do that later. Um, some of those things are pretty simple um, first of all it is 700 by 500 millimeters area uh, which is a size that just makes sense for me I do have a small laser right now and I always wanted to go bigger uh, but bigger always means you need more power um, the second thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to cut acrylic in one cut so once again more power and I wanted this device to be somewhat easy to use and easy to handle. So these big laser cutters, um, they're basically kind of an industry standard right now. Um, they're all very similar. Um, they have a movable X, X axis, Y axis, and a raisable and lower, lowerable <laughs> Z axis. Um, most of the time, this is not being done by the controller, but you have to do it manually, which I suppose is okay for me. Um, the second thing that I liked about this one was uh, the controller that you're seeing here appears to be a Ruida controller. Um, that would be great if it's on the machine. Uh, it would also be great if it was um, the controller that had a network interface. Uh, then most of the rails that they use um, are industry standard rails uh, so it's built very very solid and um, apart from that uh, I was actually just looking for the complete package I think the promise of a warranty is worth it and um, apart from that you just get a kit with uh, tons of parts you get your allen wrenches you get your pump you get a really big exhaust fan um, with with big hoses I think they're 140 millimeter hosers not sure um, what is important is that the the bed that you're lasering on um, has either um, some some t-bars that you can put your material on or it has this hexagon shape where you can where the air will be sucked down and you don't have a lot of smoke going up into the laser beam uh, also there is something called an air assist and that will blow uh, air into the laser beam just to make sure first of all that there is no smoke in the laser beam because it'll widen that beam and it makes sure that um, you don't actually have anything that catches on fire while, while you're lasering. It just blows that little flame out as soon as it can. Um, another thing that 
is probably on there and um, I don't know if that's good or not. Um, there is an aiming laser, it's a laser pointer. Um, it's probably not one that travels with the main beam that gets injected via a beam combiner. Um, this is probably just a small, um, a small laser pointer that is down on the uh, on the print head. Well, print head on the laser head. Yeah. So that's actually what I got. Um, I'm looking forward to it arriving here. It's probably going to be a big and heavy box. And um, let's see what we have to do to get it unpacked. So it's day two. It's being shipped off or the shipping papers are being prepared. Um, and I'm pretty giddy. <laughs> I must admit that. And uh, just in case you were wondering, um, I said it was a mess yesterday. It got progressive, progressively worse. Um, this is the family shredder and that one just went up in smoke and flames and uh, it basically ate um, a whole cog and I'm just now trying to get that repaired somehow just to get maybe a few more weeks of life out of this thing. Let's see how that goes. So. Well, thanks for watching and uh, have a good time, stay safe and see you in the next video.